I think the problem with the NHS stems from largely a lack of bravery from politicians, and I think that's because the NHS is has turned almost into a religion that cannot be criticised. I think there are some fundamental structural problems with the NHS that need to be addressed because although, um, and I know people like to criticise the Tories when it comes to funding, but... You know, there have been record level funding increases for the NHS in recent years. I would agree that I don't think the conditions um, for low level workers are good enough. I, I don't think so at all. And I don't think the government has actually made um, enough effort to both recruit new staff and retain those staff. Um, but at the same time, there's a clear problem of the NHS not being able to meet growing demand, whether that be um, as our population grows, whether that be as our population ages, and whether that be as the needs of our population in terms of their healthcare changes. And in terms of how to sort of address the situation, as I said before, I do think there needs to be more bravery. Maybe looking at, I mean, this is going to be controversial, but maybe looking at different ways the NHS can function, perhaps looking at more of um, a French system. Um, the French healthcare system is one of the best in the world. It's been ranked the best in the world by numerous bodies. And the system that they have is a part um, insurance-based system that is mostly government subsidised. So we do have private um, healthcare companies in this country. To maybe spread out that demand, perhaps the government could subsidise um, private health care for people who aren't able to access that care as quickly that they need on the NHS.